remember the ride, the one on which you died. Death is a solo ride, a crescendo of drums, an abruptly stopped, swift staccato, a blood clot, full stop. Eyelids pulled up like shrouds over your eyes, mouth frozen in pain. We didn't guess you were already dead. Curiosity is what makes me go on living and finding new things every day. People ask me, isn't poetry enough for you? Why do you paint? I've been painting as long as I've been writing poetry. I have never denied myself the satisfaction of indulging in what I'm interested in. Trees, creepers, and the creatures of the forest are my kith and kin, and birds that sweetly sing. This is bliss. How I love being alone. Here I am beyond good and evil. Come in, no sin. The sky is my canopy, the earth my throne. My mind is free to dwell wherever it will. A piece of cloth, one all-purpose bowl, take care of all my bodily needs. The wind tells me the time. I feast on the cuisine of Hari's lore, a delighted connoisseur. Says Tuka, I talk to myself for argument's sake. This painting is called Tukaram on the Nara Hill. It is said that on the hill of Andara, about 10 kilometers from Dehu, in a Buddhist cave, Tukaram went to contemplate and to write his poetry. For me, the spirit of Tukaram lives in and around Dehu. It is an eternal spirit. It speaks to all of us. Tukaram lives in his poetry. Ever since the age of 16, I've been obsessed by Tukaram and his work. For me, it is the greatest poetry, not only in the Marathi language, but perhaps the greatest poetry written by man. <laughs> People find me very difficult to classify. 
I'm a poet, but I write in two languages. I write in Marathi and I write in English. Very often people ask me, why do you have to write in two languages? Why not one? Why not your own? I have no answer for this question because it is not a question I ask myself. I came with a disordered mind to the disused village on the barbaric slope. Listen to the hidden sound of the wind among eucalyptus trees. We made love in the cold season while the hyenas laughed in the moonlight, took no knowledge into bed with ourselves, kept it strictly quiet. Our blood turned the corner of love, mutely, our minds were deflorated by the primordial silence of the landscape that entered and changed us. Uh, if someone wants to pin me down to a language or a commitment to a language or a region, then I will have to say I'm sorry. I don't belong to any region in particular. I don't belong to any language in particular. I have been moving throughout my life from one place to another, from one set of people to another. I have moved in different strata of society. I have lived in three continents. I have lived in India, I have lived in Africa, and I have lived in America for a while. And I have been regularly visiting Europe. So actually my life has been spent in four continents. For those who think history leaves no odor, there is Buchenwald. For those who think given time all heals, there is Buchenwald. For those who think literature is a scholarly excursion to Weimar, there is Buchenwald. It was early spring when I visited Buchenwald there was still snow on the ground. Suddenly, Goethe's picturesque little town became unreal, as I said to myself, there is Buchenwald. I'm not concerned with how people rate my work. I'm not concerned with what value is attached to what I do by other people. The value I seek is something which is very different from public recognition of what I do. The value I seek is the value of self-awareness. Who am I? Another voice at the edge of this river where thousands of pilgrims have thronged to witness their king, their lord, bathe and set out on a hunt. We are at the river Karha, waiting for Lord Khandoba to arrive from his fort at Jesuri with his band of followers to set out on his hunting expedition Am I a part of this, a participant of sorts? Or am I an outsider only here to observe and to file a report to other outsiders? Am I a tourist guide? Am I a dissertationist? The question keeps flickering in the mind as we wait for the palki to arrive. When 
I made my film go down. I was not only its scriptwriter and director, but also the composer of its music. sung in Godam by a male singer, the late Pandit Sarachandra Arolkar, whom I regard as one of my gurus, not only in music, but not only in art, but in life. My next venture in filmmaking, it could be my last, which will be the film I'm going to make in English called Tukaram, The Last Kirtan, which will have Marathi music sung by Varkaris, Tukaram's accompanist. If I look back at my life, it seems I'm always willing and ready to undertake a voyage, a journey or a pilgrimage. And yet, I come back to some of the same things again and again. There are times when having a friend is worse than having an enemy. What will I do with a dead friend? I can only go on arguing with you from this side of life. I can't write letters to you. I can't send you a telegram. I can't settle any accounts with you. I can't find faults with you. I can only go on accusing you. I can only go on freeing you. I am alone and I can be easily hurt. I am alive and I am taking another ride. Remember the ride, our last one together, the one on which you died? <laughs> Yeah. 